Another normal maintenance on your vehicle is your transmission service. We recommend this for most transmissions around every 50,000 kilometers. Some transmissions have a filter, some do not. So today we have one with a filter. So we're going to show you a transmission filter change and we're going to show you a transmission fluid exchange. So we're going to start with that service now. Unfortunately, the transmission filter is located inside the pan, so we have to drop the pan down to get access to the filter. So it's a bit of work on some makes and models. Sometimes it requires removing the exhaust. Sometimes they're very straightforward. They're right in the open. This one, we should be able to get the pan out without dropping the exhaust, and then we can show you the filter. All right, so we got the transmission pan off the vehicle here, and we'll have a look inside. Inside of most of the pans is a little magnet, and that's there to attract any metal filings that may be moving around. And as you can see, we got a little bit on here. So we're gonna, you know, if you see a lot, that's obviously a very bad sign, but uh, this isn't awful. So we're gonna clean the pan up, and then uh, we're gonna, I'm just gonna have Sean drop the filter here so we can see that. The filter basically just plugs in the bottom of this vehicle. There's the transmission filter. And then if we flip it over, we can see the element, which is uh, located inside there. And so this sort of sits in the bottom of the pan like so, and then uh, pulls the fluid. The fluid is pulled through it right into the transmission. So we're going to change that, and we're going to clean the pan. Then we'll put it all back together. All right, we're finishing up the transmission service. This is the final stage. We've done the, we've dropped the pan, we've cleaned the pan, we put in a new clean filter, put it back together. Now we're gonna hook up the fluid exchange machine. And this is often very misunderstood. It's often called a transmission flush, and then folks think that we're putting the fluid through at a higher pressure or it's disturbing something. But really it's just a fluid exchange. It'll be removing the fluid at the same pressure that the transmission normally operates at, and it'll be putting in new clean fluid at the same pressure the transmission operates at. And when we're done, everything will be 100%. Every ounce of fluid in the transmission pretty much has been replaced.